guys, I got another one for this same vehicle. Uh, it's a 2003 Land Rover Discovery. Uh, needs a new uh, brake master cylinder. Uh, it goes all the way to the floor. I'm looking at it here and it, um, it's actually got um, the paint around the master cylinder has actually been um, coming off uh, just where it's been leaking so much. Um, that's how you can tell uh, it's going all the way to the floor. Uh, there's no leaks anywhere else. Uh, you're in trouble stopping. That's usually the master cylinder. So let's get into it. Uh, got my parts here and we're going to get started. All right, guys. Uh, first thing you need to do is to take off this little plug. You just uh, snap it off like that. It comes right off. And you can uh, take your cap off. It feels loose, it's not even snug on there. There's two bolts back here on the back. Uh, we're gonna loosen up. Uh, first, we're gonna break the lines loose. Uh, once we've got the lines loose, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and break these two off, take them all the way off, and um, take the lines the rest of the way off. <laughs> all right, everything's loose now. All the bolts out, take the lines off, <clears throat> put a rag down there to catch some. You don't want to get any of this on your paint, so you know, be careful when you get it off and uh, you know, put something over it or something. Let's tilt you up here so you can see. Here it is. You can see the seal it's right here. Uh, you gotta make sure you get that out of there and you wanna kinda clean up in here a little bit to make sure it's uh, it's clean uh, for the new one to go in. And that should be all there is to it. Here's my rag. All right guys, here's a new one. I got in a little vise here I got outside. It comes with these little uh, screw-in uh, bleeders. Plastic, so I mean, you gotta get them tight. They're just, uh, just do a quick bleed on them. Okay. Oh, it's very tight. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> is like pumping your brake pedal. It's got two uh, two pockets in there and one can empty out before the other one does. Okay, I pumped it a bunch of times and uh, now I'm gonna you know, put it back on here. I made sure the seal was on there. It's just hand tight right now. Uh, I did some practice pumps inside the, the car with the brake pedal, uh, just with it being hand tight. Uh, make sure it was working and I could uh, I could see that it was actually moving some brake fluid so that's good
top off this fluid. <clears throat> Gotta finish bleeding it out. Uh, do some pumps, and um, hopefully I'll get a good pedal. All right, guys, that's uh, uh, that's it for this uh, master cylinder. Uh, I did have to uh, go around uh, to the back of the car and bleed the brakes. I didn't include that in the video. Hopefully, I'll. I do know how to do that if, if uh, you're doing this and uh, I started at the back uh, furthest corner uh, took the wheel off uh, led that wheel and uh, I, I did it by myself I used the uh, uh, method where you pump it with your hand and uh, put a block of wood in there and pull the seat up to hold it go around to the back uh, let it loose tighten it back up did that for all four wheels. Uh, got a lot of firmer, so I've got a firm pedal now. I took it for a test drive, everything was fine. Uh, again, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I uh, hope that you uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hopefully you subscribe. Uh, hopefully I've got some more uh, videos coming soon. Uh, I'm happy with these, or uh, uh, maybe some things around uh, uh, my home here. Uh, thanks again for watching.